Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the book of Imam al Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu said, Innama ju'il al Imam li yu'tamma bih. The Imam was appointed so that he is followed. Fala takhtalifu alayhi, so don't differ from him. Fa'idha raka'a farka'u, when he bows down, then you bow down. When he says, وَإِذَا قَالَ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ حَمِدَهُ And when he says, سَمِعَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ حَمِدَهُ As he's rising up, فَقُولُوا رَبَّنَا لَكَ الْحَمْدِ Say, رَبَّنَا لَكَ الْحَمْدِ وَإِذَا سَجَدَ فَاسْجُدُوا And when he goes down to prostration, you go down to prostration. Now, when praying with the congregation, people are one of four. Some raise the imam. They go ahead of the Imam. The Imam finished reciting the, the uh, short surah after Al-Fatiha and says, Allahu Akbar, before you know it, that person has already gone to Rukur. And this is impermissible. The opposite is also impermissible, delaying your movement way after the Imam. For example, the Imam would go down to sujood and then sit up from the sujood and that person is still there, goes down to the second sajda, and that person is still in that first sajda. This is also impermissible. The third uh, scenario is acting exactly like the imam, coinciding with his movements, and this is not recommended. What is recommended is to act upon the hadith that we mentioned in the beginning of this clip, which is to go after, to go after the Imam. This coincides with the Sunnah of the Prophet So when he says Allahu Akbar and goes down to Ruku', then you go down to Ruku', and so on and so forth in all the acts in the Salah or the movements in the Salah. We need to be mindful of this next time we pray with the congregation. Assalamu alaikum.